This is where we woke up to. A tent! We live in a tent! <laughs> the sunrise is just coming up. Looks quite beautiful actually. We're just having a quick coffee and tea and then shooting off to the next place to fill up with water. Watching the sunrise. Good morning, it's 6am and we have accomplished the first scramble of the day. And that was just to get back to the bathroom. And there where we stayed. Whew. And what? And slightly upwards. We just uh, dropped down to the Clycorn picnic area. That's it down there. With the rest of them camped and got burger and beers. Not burger, <laughs> pizza. pizza. That's the place where you can order pizza too. Yeah, we didn't. Got we... proper toilets as well. Indoor plumbing, yeah. I know. But uh, yeah, we didn't have the legs to do that last night. Well done to anybody, everybody who made it that far. So we just went down to fill up with water because, yeah, indoor plumbing. And um, with extremely heavy, watery, sloshy packs, we're now off to see whether we can last another couple of hours before the sun gets us. Coming out of the uh, Silverwood Lake area, and crossing under the highway. Not everything's pretty on the PCT. Oh, but there's lots of birds. <laughs> Nesting there in the shadow. So we've been hiking for about three hours, only to be uh, heading back towards the lake. What's going on? So we we're moving away from that. Yeah, that's okay. We were heading for that valley in our mind, but clearly yeah, not. I bet we end up over there. We probably do the longest possible way. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. This is the valley we're dropping into. The train line and everything. And where there's civilization. It's a long, hot walk along the ridge today. Ever so often there's tiny patches of shadow. Which we are enjoying thoroughly. The shadow that is, not the ridge walking. <laughs> We appear to have taken the wrong turn. It's a Celtic can. We're back home. We found a square inch of shade. And that shall be our lunch spot. Not expect this. I guess that explains why the path is going for a little climb before dropping down the valley because, uh, yeah, dropping is the key word. Wow. Every time you think the views can't get any bigger, this happens. The country is just insanely big, as are its trains. There's a train you've been missing, babe. Yeah. Bloody hell. That's a long train. A mile long. Can't be far up a mile long. Day. I know. Nearly kicked this one. What? I nearly kicked this one. Hey, gorgeous. Try getting off the trail and then you don't get stood on.
finally reached the road. So apparently it's another half mile. Only the PCT can squeeze half a mile between us and this. <laughs> Let's see if the milkshakes at Chevron are as good as everybody says. Because I could murder one right now. So we weakened. We tried to um, book a room in Wrightwood for a couple of nights because yeah. we haven't. Which is so called. And they wanted to charge $50 a person? A night, yeah. Yeah. So we gave that one a miss and uh, we booked ourselves into the Best Western at Cajon Pass to delay our arrival in Wrightwood to when the post office is actually open. Because we haven't really and stopped that, for 14, 15 cake. days. That's a super kink. It's not a kink. This is super. This is one on big that. bed. Uh, Shower. And there's laundry downstairs for, if I understood that gentleman right, just $1.50. I mean, this is decent. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit more than we wanted to pay, they, but, they hold but it's there. less than the, the place in they right hold would be. They parcels as well. Yes, they do hold parcels uh, if, you, if you book Good. in here, so. You can get resupply sent here. But yeah, cheaper than Whitewood, so Whitewood will just be a quick in and out for the parcel then. So, today's slightly unexpected turn of events, so set off where we have camped. We hiked a couple of miles, extra miles to the Cleghorn picnic area to fill up with water in the morning. And then began. A very, 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 very hot day. By nine o'clock we were already wishing it was over. There's a lot of exposed um, climbing, a lot of exposed rich walking. It shouldn't be a hard section, it really shouldn't. It was easy enough going uh, and quite pleasant in theory, but it was just so, so hot. I mean, the thermometer at one point, my little thermometer, read 107 and it's just like... Sorry, we don't do temperatures like that. Um, we didn't really stop anywhere for that reason. Um, we tried to, you know, occasionally we crashed in shadow and we tried to have some lunch somewhere, but it was so hot we didn't want to eat and the mosquitoes were just eating us alive and so were the ants and so we just kept moving very, very slowly um, until the horrible <laughs> climb down into Cajon Pass. I mean, everybody keeps going on about how bad the, the climb from Fuller Ridge is, but the Cajon Pass climb down is just... It's just... Probably, again, because of the temperatures. It just doesn't end. It's only three miles, and it just doesn't end. And the pass takes you... Like, you're, you're heading, as you can see, you, you, you see the road all the while. And then suddenly the PC goes, yeah, but that's not the road I'm sending you to. And, and it sends you somewhere completely different. <laughs> it's just, it was slightly frustrating, but I'm pretty sure, as I said, it's just the heat. And we made it to Cajon Pass. Uh, we crashed out on the grass outside of Chevron. Took a long, hard look at our life and the fact that we haven't had a shower for, well, since mile 150. And um, booked ourselves into the Great Western.